Okay. Um, previously, we found that c square was a square plus b square, but I had put part b here to this question, part b one b, and place the answer c square equal a square plus b square up here to make space. So this says. Write in terms of A, B, and C, an expression for sine theta plus cos theta. Alright, let's see what's going on here. This is theta. Alright, this angle is theta. Now, the sine theta, sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Since you're looking at this angle as being theta, A would be the opposite of theta. Theta is on the left and this side is on the right. If theta was here, right, B would be the opposite because theta would be at the bottom of the right angle. B would be on the opposite side, which at the top. But in this case, theta is on the left of the triangle. A is on the right of the triangle. Opposite sides. Alright? So, A is the opposite. And C is the hypotenuse. C doesn't come anywhere near the right angle, which is here. Alright? So, sine theta we can see that sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse which is a over c now cos theta theta is here again the adjacent is b so this is the adjacent to theta. Alright. The adjacent it runs alongside theta. The thing is the hypotenuse is also adjacent to theta, you know. It runs alongside theta, but it also is opposite to the right angle. So we keep this side as the hypotenuse and B as the adjacent. We see that cos theta, cos theta is adjacent, which is B, over hypotenuse, which is C. So now, sine theta plus cos theta is A over C plus B over C, which you can rewrite as A plus B all over C, alright? A plus B all over C. You can figure that one out by adding the fractions. Drawing the line and find the LCM and add the fractions. And you see that we have A plus B over C as the expression. So the answer is this A plus B all over C.